Well, sometimes you have to get creative. I tried burning this out of here. As you can see, not very successful. Why am I doing that? For these particular bushes that I've bought, you need to leave the outer casing in and you need the inner pin. So I thought, I'll just burn it out, push it out. Nah, doesn't want to work that way. So I have <laughs> I got kind of creative, I guess. And this is something you may or may not wish to try, do. Um, and it involves a, a variety of items. First, we have a nice piece of stud. Then we have a little sleeve. Then we have a big ass washer. Then we have a small socket. Then we have a big socket. Now, the reason I have those two is because I don't have a piece of pipe. You could just use a piece of pipe. So what I want to do is I want to push the middle out. So I've got that, and look at that, that fits lovely. But the other end, I need to be around this, even though I don't want, I, I'm i just wanting to get the rubber out, I need something to go around there. Uh, if I could get it on there, great, but what I got is this piece of, actually it's a piece of exhaust pipe, and it fits over there perfectly. Then you need something, whatever, you make it up as you go along, you really do. Just unscrew that a bit, give me a bit more length. Wife likes that when I get a bit more length. And I got a big ass washer over there. Kind of have to need six hands to do this. Then get the nut on there, get your nuts on. And of course the nut decided to bind, didn't it? What a bind. So I must have a piece of crap on there. So let's try that again. Putting the nut on the other way around. Don't ask me why, but that often works. Okay, so that is now pinched up. Let's spin that up. All right, and grabbing one's trusty wrench of the correct size. And putting it on the right way around, you just wind. And what this is doing is pushing these in here, and it's going to push out the uh, the pin or the, the sleeve rather. And if I'm lucky, it may even push out some of the rubber. When I did the other side, it pushed out the rubber as well. Our military boys flying over. Now, for some reason the stud, I guess because of the tension, it's not, it's not turning. I'm just holding it just to make sure. And that is pushing that out beautifully at the moment. And why did I put that sleeve on there? Well, so that I'm not close up to the washer, which would be a real pain in the, in the bum. It would just be awkward. This gives me a bit of play. That seems to be pushing that out very nicely. And then I'll clean it up and push in the new ones. And in fact, I can use this same method to actually push in the new ones. Well, that's going really well. And the reason I did this length is so that the whole thing can push into there if need be. It's going pretty easily, I must admit, which is a fucking miracle. Normally, everything I do on a car bites me. And the other night when I did all of this, <clears throat> <laughs> I was out here at probably 11 o'clock at night trying to burn this out and the fumes were bloody disgusting because burning rubber well you know what that's like guys you know when you're having sex with a condom on and you burn rubber uh, it was awful and then in the end it just wasn't working and I thought what the hell am I doing here <laughs> so I gave up and went to bed after more gin and tonics than I should have had and I had a terrible night's sleep, so... <coughs> oh, look at that. That's, that is going amazingly well. Oh, that's on all floppy. 
and I hate it when that happens. So now let's take the nut off <coughs> and the washer. And these are just things I've found around my uh, my garage that I used. Look at that. Pushed it right out. There we go. Absolutely perfect. Now all I've got to do is just <coughs> slice this rubber off and then uh, clean everything up and put it all together again. So uh, not a bad little job altogether. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. The other one came out a lot better. Um, that's probably because I hadn't heated it up. So I would suggest you don't bother heating it up. It really doesn't work. Well, that's not true. It would work, but I got fed up with the fumes and it would have taken me a lot longer. This method, as you saw, that just took a few minutes. Right. Let me remove my glove so I can switch the camera off because I've got all sticky burnt rubber on it. <sighs> Terrific. Now the next challenge, putting these together and then after that, taking the other one apart and that's going to be a pig of a job. All right, stop this video here. Next minute, we'll put it together. Right, I have inserted the first new, uh, what do we say, rubber bush, but it's not rubber, it's polyurethane. Um, it would appear to be a lot longer than it really needs to be. So uh, out with the trusty Stanley knife, as us guys call it, utility knife as you Yanks call it. And I'm going to trim this off level with this edge because I think that's the right thing to do. And if it's not, oh well. Now I've left it sitting here in the sun so that uh, it can squeeze its way through. And I'm not suggesting you do this. I'm merely saying this is what I'm doing. Saying, showing you. This is what I'm doing. Because I like it to be level and pretty. Okay. Now this could be a big mistake, which I will regret. I sincerely hope not. Because this wasn't cheap. But, there you go, you pay your money, and you take your chances. Yeah, let me come around here. Now I know this is terrible drawing a knife towards me. It's kind of tricky not to. But believe me, I'm as being as controlled as I possibly can. Because I don't really want to die. It's very difficult not to put your hand in line where the blade is. Not impossible. You do it whatever way you do it. There you go. All right, so that's nicely, nice, 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 nicely, nicely, nicely trimmed off. And I've still got plenty there and I've got the metal in there and basically, basically, God, I hate that word. That's it. Um, I will show you how I put this other, this in. And uh, so we're kind of going to go ass backwards because I just trimmed it. Now I'm going to show you how to put it in. And if you don't know how to put it in, uh, ask your wife, she'll tell you. Or your girlfriend. Or if you're that way inclined, your boyfriend. Right, let me get set up and show you how I put it in. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, time to show you how I put one of these in. Give it a liberal coating of what I guess is special polyurethane grease. It is sticky as shit. It's awful. I hate it, but that's what you gotta do. So first of all, we'll just push that in. He says, ha <laughs> ha. Then we'll give it some persuasion.
Having persuaded it, we now need to get a piece that I can't find because it's over there. And that piece is the main shaft. Nothing like a main shaft. Again, covering in this sticky shit. Ah, oh, God, it's awful. Ah, uh, so first we slide this in, then we slide this on, then oh, another big fat ass washer, excuse me, got hiccups, spinning up your nuts, and that can make your eyes water. I spun my nuts once, really was very painful, but kind of exciting at the same time. So, uh, play with yourself for a minute while I get me nuts spun. <sighs> Sorry about the allergies, guys. They're fucking beating the crap out of me. I guess I shouldn't live in a desert. <sighs> if you don't like sniffing, hit the mute. If you like it, lick the mute. <laughs> lick the mute. Oh, jeez. All right. And we're getting close now. La -dee -da -dee -da 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 -da. Oh, another half inch to go, as she said last night. If you got another half inch, I'll take it. Shit, if I had half inch, that'd be a plus. <laughs> All right, so we now have everything pretty close. My hands are so sticky, I hate this. All right. So now I have my two some 9 16th wrenches, not that it really matters because it all depends on the, uh, the size of the stud you're using. You can use bigger than 9 16ths, it just happens to be what I'm using because it's from one of my other vehicles. And then, as you can see, I'm just winding it in. It's real simple. And supposedly, with that grease, it's going to go easy. But believe me, it is not easy. It is tough to get this in there. And it should, in theory, go in relatively straight. But don't bank on it. This one's going in a little crooked. But I'm not worried. Because I'm sure it will straighten itself out. I can tell you now that I'm having to put a lot of effort into moving this and I don't do a lot of effort. Effort is not something I like doing. I like to do minimal effort. Okay, so you're seeing this, you get the idea, don't you? Huh? And once I get it fully in there, my wife will be happy. I mean, uh, You can see what I'm doing. So, I see no point in making you watch me wind it up. Uh, that will be this. Next will be the ball joint. All right, this is the uh, upper control arm. Uh, in order to get the upper control arm ball joint out, I ground it off. And then hit it with a fucking hammer. Um, as you can see, I'm burning this bush out. I've set light to it. I'm just going to leave it to do its shit. Now, let me take you to show you the uh, ball joint itself. Hopefully the uh, darkness won't follow us through too much. And this is the ball joint here. I cut this off and then hit it with a hammer and out she popped not too difficult couldn't think of another way to do it and besides that it's fun i have the new ball joints here the uh, uh lower ball joint and the upper ball joint and now all i need to do is go back out to my <laughs> bench that's on fire and take out the uh, uh, I took this rod out and uh, 
the way I took the rod out was by totally destroying this end, then you can move it. As that seems to be crackling away nicely, I'm just going to let the fucker burn, and then I'm sure it will just all fall apart. That's the end of this particular video. I'll show you some more uh, later with uh, a reinsertion, and we all like a good reinsertion. Well, it was easy enough just to uh, pull that out <laughs> once the bush got going. Uh, I could let that burn. I like fire. Maybe I'm a pyromaniac. Um, but I won't. I'll blow this out because otherwise it's just going to make a sticky mess on my driveway and burn my bench. Although I do need new uh, boards for my bench because it's um, fucked, as you can see. <laughs> All right, there we go. That is the end of this particular video. Um, bring your sausages over and we'll do a barbecue. <laughs> Okay, I forgot to do the please like, subscribe, uh, what's the other one, comment, you know how it goes. Here we are, Arizona, look at that lovely sun. Hopefully you're seeing the sun over my shoulder and it's blinding me. In other words, you don't have to look at my face. And if you do, well, I guess you're just going to fall in love with me like they all do. And, as always, get your fucking ass out there in the garage and do some shit. Come on, you know you've got to do it. All right, finally I have the uh, new ball joints in and the new bushes in. Everything is ready to go. Uh, these I just uh, squeezed in in the vise. That's real easy. Um, and you leave the original... Um, I don't know what we're going to call it, the original shell, um, and then you squeeze in the polyurethane bushes. Um, these you do not do up tight until the weight is on the suspension, and then you do it up tight. Uh, ball joint there, lovely looking ball joint, must admit I'm really impressed with that, especially the clip, I like the clip, it's the easy um, pull style, you know, those, I, I, I like those because they're reusable. Um, this one comes with a nice grease nipple and, a, and a, a, a little cap to go over it. I will grease all of this when it's in place. Um, the spring I've given a quick clean to. Uh, that is already clean. And here is the, uh, the lower control arm. And uh, another big ass mofo. That was an absolute pig to get in. I did it in the press with the uh, and cups and a big piece of uh, plumbing pipe over the top here and then a metal piece to push it down wow and that bugger wanted to go in crooked every time in the end what i did is i started it just you know lining it up put the pipe on and then just tapped around the pipe so i could get it to start straight and then put it in the press but by god that is that is tough um if you don't have a press you are going to struggle doing that um what i would suggest is that perhaps you you can get the old one out easy enough because you just whack damn thing with a hammer you don't care about it but you may need to go to a shop and get them to press it in if you don't have a press at home i don't think you'd be able to do it with a vice unless you've got a really macho vice so just a word of warning there on that um, of course, you can buy complete new control arms, but they were so expensive, and there's really nothing wrong with these control arms. It's not like some of the, the modern ones, you know, which will cast and get a little weak. These big-ass pressed steel shit, they, uh, they, <laughs> they're going to last. Um, one last thing I would do in here, as you can see, I have a tray down there, and I'm going to move this, is I'm just going to give this a bit of a clean-up, because I like things to be clean. Um, and I've got, oh, yes, I've got the new sway bar links. Uh, they got this extra sleeve on them, which uh, makes them stronger. Um, so uh, hopefully that, that will help the, the handling of the vehicle. And obviously the shock absorber there to go back on. So my next task now, uh, clean all of this up and put it all back together. Now, I'd, I really don't think it'll be of interest putting it back together. Um, these are kind of unique little bolts. They go in through here for the control arm. 
I'm surprised they weren't welded on, but uh, I don't know. Gives you a bit of adjustment, I suppose. So maybe with the camber and caster. So I'm just going to make sure I put it back where the dirt is. <laughs> I know this one came out of here. And I can see the marks there. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably too dark. But, uh, but that will allow the camber and caster to change. So I may have to get that checked at the shop. Otherwise, uh, I could have it in the wrong place, couldn't I? Wouldn't I? Couldn't I? Yes, yeah, so I didn't actually realise until now that they are slots which will alter the caster and camber of the wheel. So I will definitely have to get them to check that. That's going to cost me a few extra bucks, but I don't have the uh, equipment to check that, so uh, I will have to get them to do that because it will not be right and I want it to be right. All right. There you go guys, that's going to be the uh, end of the video and uh, obviously now you've got to heed my warning there on that with the camber and caster. Will change. Uh, I'm still waiting for my new bumps to come in. Ah uh, dear, I wonder how much extra that's going to cost me and how much longer that's going to take them to do it. Got a feeling I may just drop it off and then pick it up later in the day. It gives them plenty of time. And of course I will be putting on the new brakes. Um, and if you don't remember, um, trying to burn out those bushes, yeah, you can do it, you know, you can burn out these bushes. Um, it's easier just to push them out the way I did with the, uh, the lump of thread and some spacers. Uh, it's less messy. And uh, quite frankly, I think that's the better way to do it. But you do what you want to do. All right. It'll spring there, ready to go back in. Don't forget the rubber cap that goes in the top. All right. There you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate all you guys subscribing to my channel. I do all sorts of different shit because I work on other people's vehicles. But I do do mainly Jaguar stuff, uh, particularly my old classic Jaguar. Uh, that's the vehicle I love, or vehicles, should I say. Um, right at the moment, I must admit, I'm getting really bad. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six cars. Well, two of them are trucks and a motorbike to play with. Oops, I think it's time I sold something. Corvette first. Bye-bye, Corvette. All right, there you go, guys. Again, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to contact me for any reason... Uh, G star garage at gmail.com and that is star with two r's thank you good night get your asses out in that garage and do some shit <laughs>